Hampshire sports bikes are currently the fastest growing market sector in motorcycling in Britain today. At 31% up on last year they are flicking two long suspended fingers up at super bikes, to by comparison are only a measly 4% up year on year. It would appear that UK riders are finally following in the footsteps of our European chomps, as chewing 1 million bhp in favour of decent tank ranges, Ewan and Charlie styling and easier everyday riding. It had to happen at some stage. As motorcycling becomes older and fewer young bloods come in at the bottom, so biking's demographic has changed. And in the same way the dinosaurs eventually gave way to warm blood and furry little mammals, it would appear that the adventure sport spikes are stepping forward to inherit the earth. And into this odd-looking world comes a new Honda Transult. I remember these things from back in 1987 when I was a mere nipper. They were white and blue and nobody was quite sure what to do with them, so they took them off-road. Which the Transult wasn't really meant to do, to any great degree, so at the time it was dubbed either a silly road bike or a rubbish dirt bike. More recently, I rode 1,600 miles around Turkey for the last issue on a 650 Transult, which probably makes me the only journalist to have actually ridden one in the last 10 years and therefore uniquely qualified to comment on the new bike. And while that Transult was brilliant at bothering around the country at 80 miles per hour in tremendous comfort, it was wholly unexciting and not very pretty. I admired it for what it could do but always wished I was on something else. And so to this latest incarnation. It's been hacked out to 680cc, got completely new bodywork and a smaller, more road-orientated 19 inches front wheel to make it handle better and offer a wider choice of tires. Some of the journalists on the launch thought it was grossly ugly, and certainly the headlight assembly is no oil painting. But I rather like its rumpy, stumpy Massey Ferguson looks, and the new Transilp has the air of a bike which can be ridden for miles and take a hell of a beating in the process. 20 years of refinement mean this Honda is nothing if not built to last, and I wager you could throw this fella down the road at least 5 times before you actually needed to fix anything more than brake levers, 